Yeah, and you, you did mention that, you know, these heavy metals have a, an influence not only on our bodies, but on our brains as well, as well as the uh, things within our brain, like our mm-hmm. pineal gland and pituitary gland. And one aspect of, of this is also, you know, the sleep cycles. But the other aspect, right, is our spiritual experience, right? Because the pineal mm-hmm. gland is, a, you know, they say it's a seat mm-hmm. of the intuition and yeah. our connector to that, which is beyond the whale. So I'm guessing that that's you know, holding us back from experiencing those amazing feelings of deep connection and realization that we're not this separate, you know, small little beings that we are in fact connected to every animal and uh, and plant and living being that there is. So I'm guessing it's holding us back, right? From having that full transcendent human experience. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. I love that. I got chills as you were saying that. Um, yes, for sure. I mean, we look at it from a functional medicine standpoint yeah. that uh, the pineal gland is melatonin. So it will yeah. dramatically affect sleep if you have toxins hanging out in there. Um, but you're right. I mean, from a spiritual standpoint, the way here's what's really and we can really go deep on this on this topic. But uh, when you look at it, go down into the neuron level in the brain, yeah. neurons are like uh, like little finger-like projections and they're mm-hmm. carrying information. And that information at the end of the, those little neurons are called dendrites. Mm-hmm. And the dendrites are where the heavy metals hang out. Yeah. So when you're getting some information, you're getting a thought and that thought stops. So this yeah. is for those people that are like, oh, what what was I saying? I was, or you walk into a room and you're like, how did that, why did I go in there? Where did I put my keys? A lot of times what's happened is that that you had a thought, but it wasn't able to hop to another neuron because at the mm. end of the neurons were metals. So now let's mm. go into the pineal gland. Okay, well, you, the seat of consciousness and you have trillions, just like you have 72 trillion uh, cells in your body, you have mm-hmm. trillions of neurons in your brain. And yep. they're all communicating with each other. And so mm-hmm. what these metals end up doing is they slow that communication. So right. inspiration, um, deep thoughts, um, ability to even go into some of these deeper meditative states, all of that can be hindered by the presence of metals. You know, firstly, I think I can speak for all, everyone listening right now. I wish that I had a science teacher like you. <laughs> when I was a kid, I, I don't know where I would have been by now because I could <laughs> really understand everything going Thank on you. in the neurons and the dendrites and how this affects our thought process. But it's so true, you know. I just came across this quote by Michio Kaku the other day when I was researching about uh, you know creating an episode that connects what's happening in the brain to breathwork because I'm a breathwork instructor. But he said that our brain is the most complicated object in the known universe. Yep. Isn't that crazy? Like we look at Mars and we look at everything happening around. We look at the depth of the ocean. We look out in the sky. But what's in between our years, that is, as far as we know and understand, the most complicated uh, instrument or thing in the known universe. And if these heavy metals are not allowing the messages to pass from one neuron to the other, just imagine what your potential, true potential is as an individual, as a human being. Yeah, and and the 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 piece on that that is so sad is that we label mm-hmm. the aging brain in in acceptable ways. We say, yeah. "Oh, you're in you're in like menopause, for example. Oh, you're going through menopause. Yeah, you're supposed yeah. to be a little cranky. You're supposed to be a little depressed. That's not true. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're in your 60s. Yeah, you're losing your memory. Of course, you <laughs> should be learning losing your memory. Like, exactly. the, but the, this is a pliable organism, and it can regenerate. You can like some of the studies I found on fasting shows yeah. that like a 48 hour fast will reset your dopamine pathways in your brain, and you actually yeah. will grow new dendrites coming off these neurons that will mm-hmm. accelerate the flow of dopamine from one neuron to the next from a 48 hour yeah. fast, yeah. I'm like, whoa. So there is so much that to be discovered about the brain that we have to make a promise to ourselves that mm-hmm. we will not accept a diagnosis that limits our potential because yeah. there's so, the human body was meant to live to 120. It comes right. with these self-repair mechanisms. Those mechanisms didn't leave you at 60. You have another 60 mm-hmm. years that you're built to live for. 
It's just that you mm. haven't been taught how your body is. You're living in this crazy modern world. So yeah. we've got to tap into podcasts like yours where we're bringing the power back in a, in a loving way. We're, we're looking within and right. saying, we're in control here. We just didn't, weren't given the manual on how to use this body.